What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Hunter X here, bringing you guys another episode of FTB Sky Odyssey. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. With that being said, we have a lot to do, and I'm, I'm going to try to play with Woot today. So let's get into it, because I'm so ready to try and automate some Woots. Alright, I had this idea yesterday um, on stream when I was playing, uh, starting my new Project Ozone Let's Play on the Twitches. I wanted to try and automate Woot, and I think this is the best pack to kind of try and play with that because, well, I mean, let's be honest here, we have EMC. So the core, the dies, right? The, the dies are going to be the most important thing that we're going to want to automate. Right, so we're going to need one, two, three, four Stygian anvils. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, so it's, it's going to be worth a shot, right? So we'll go ahead. Um, I, I guess we really don't have to space them out because of... Um, um, I can filter what gets picked up and what doesn't get picked up with the um, item collectors so I'm, I'm guessing that these don't have EMC correct so we're gonna need some Stygian iron plates and then we're gonna need a couple of things so we're gonna need iron bars iron bars we're gonna need a stone slab which I don't think can be EMC, but I can go ahead and grab that and craft that like that. Redstone dust, which is fine. That's obviously EMCable. And redstone dust. And what's the other one that we're gonna need? Oh, and nether quartz. Nether quartz. Perfect. And then I need my yaw hammer. This is gonna actually. You know what? I'm going to test this right now. I am going to test this right now. So if I grab my yaw hammer, I don't think I'm going to be, hold on, let me see, user, do you not have EMC? Okay, you do have, you do have EMC, awesome. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a mechanical user. All right, if I place you there, you there. Use item on block, activate item on block, use item, entity. Is it right click or is it left click? I can't remember if it's right or left click. I couldn't tell you. Uh, entity now use item maybe right click mm. hold on oh right hold on I totally forgot um it has to be sitting on top of magma box right and I wasn't getting that message because I wasn't clicking it myself. Alrighty. That shouldn't be... On. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So now if I drop you on top of that, will you automate? Place block, no. Use block. Activate. Yes! So it does, so you can automate this. Awesome! That is gonna save me. Wait, which one did I just make? Uh, that is the plate die, which is gonna be the slab one. Okay. So let me go ahead and craft the rest of these so that way we can automate them. I'm gonna need my own yaw hammer. Um, we're going to be able to automate a bunch of cool stuff, and it's going to be fun. 
Uh, redstone dust, you. Hold up. Okay, there we go. Core die. Another right. Uh, another quartz. You're gonna be a shard die. And then you're gonna be this guy right here. So now I should, in theory, okay, if this works the way I think it does, I can grab a couple more yaw hammers. And a couple more mechanical users. Like so. Um, just grab a stack with them. Sure. Why not? Okay. So now this is going to be right click, activate on block, activate on block. Oh no, it's going to do that, isn't it? I want it to do that. There we go. So now it should be doing its thing. I'm also gonna grab a sound muffler, cause, oh god. Oh, I have that mod in here. Okay, I like this mod, this mod's pretty cool. So if I go ahead and put the recorder on, and it should, in theory, allow me to hit, do this, and will hit. Now, can I get a portable dampener? Is that something that we have? That's from random things. Uh, muffler or dampener. Yes, we want the portable sound dampener. It's a bobble slot thing. And you can put that on. So that way, it only mutes the sound when you're in the area, which is so nice. That's awesome. So now if I'm not mistaken, I can do a dropper. Okay. I can do a dropper. Like this. And then... Mm, oh wait, we don't have... Uh, crafters don't have EMC in this. So we need to auto-craft some crafters. Uh, four crafters, please. And also, maybe a net, some network stuff as well. So, network transmitter, network receiver, and network card. We're going to need those guys. And then we're going to go ahead and get these guys all set up over there. And I can probably just throw my network transmitter like right there since it's on the same network and I don't have to worry about it and what I can do here is ooh mm, yeah there that, that that will work that will do cuz then I can I can use conduits to kind of refresh the the memory and stuff and stuff like that let's go ahead and put that in there and then I'm going to want to hook up crafters to the back of these. Now I was thinking about hooking them up to a crate. That was my initial idea, but let's see how well this works. And then if we need to make a crate, we'll make a crate. A crate, but I, I think we'll be okay. Because I believe these guys can hold a couple stacks. If I'm not mistaken. So we should be okay. Uh, conduits. So we're gonna we're gonna be automating Woot today. Which is I I've never automated this mod, so this is new for me and it's fun. Oh right. Um okay no. Remember, we, we, we still have the top, um, the access to the top of the block, so that's fine. 
um, if say if I wanted to make a power a power at root if I wanted to make a tier one upgrade so I would need to drop redstone a block of iron and a stygian iron plate let's see if that works let's see if my thing works so iron block block of iron redstone and a stygian iron plate so if I put you in here and then we get redstone conduit conduit with a timer will this work please tell me this will work because I would be so happy if it worked okay so it kind of shoots it kind of far so let's go ahead and get a some clear glass of some kind uh, let's go with is this blue yeah we'll go with light blue sure why not um, And then we'll do something like this. I might have to space them. That might be a thing that I have to do. Okay, now, wait, is that on the wrong thing? Hold on, that might be on the wrong thing. Oh, that's the, yeah, the core die, right? That one's the core die. Oh no, it's the, it's the next one over. Right. Next one over, please. You, you, one of you. How are you outputting? Oh, it's because it's on the same block, right? Right. Yup, it works. It works. And also, let me get a thing because that's gonna get annoying real quick. That has gone to be so annoying very quickly. Peace and quiet. Now we can automate this. So here's the plan. I want to test this. I want to test it even further. So those should now be running. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the refined storage system in a processing upgrade processing power you're gonna do one stygian oh, not not that many one stygian iron plate plus a block of iron plus a piece of redstone okay a piece of redstone and a block of iron is going to equal out to be this guy tier one upgrade okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and teach you how to make iron blocks you already know how to make redstone and now you need to learn how to make stygian iron plates okay and the only thing that I need at this point would be an interface, which we don't have on Autocraft.
I don't know why we don't have that on autocraft. I mean, I guess it, we could use a, um, what do you call it? I guess we could use an ender chest. That, that works. Ender chests do work, so. We're going to go ahead and then filter that ender chest to pick up only a certain item. Right, let me go put this guy in here. Uh, not you. You. And then the ender chest will go here. And the item collector with a filter should work nicely here. So if I tell you I want you to make or only pick up this. You should only pick up that, right? And you shouldn't pick up anything else. So let's go ahead and oh, well, mm, transmitter or wireless. Does, does that have? Okay, it doesn't. So I need to come over here and craft one of those with some range upgrades. Do, do we not have it taught? Uh, guess not. Uh, transmitter. And some range add-ons. I'm sure we have range add-ons taught. Taught, right? Mm, nope. We don't need it anyway. We don't really need the range add-ons. Cause we'll just be working in this little area for today. Uh yeah, you you so if I ask if I request tier one upgrade bases, ten of them. Dude, that works. That literally works. It works. It works. It's freaking awesome, guys. How crazy is that? And if I wanted to, I can just do that. So say if I wanted, I don't know, like... 30 of them. Oh. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Okay, that's the one thing I was afraid of. We'll, we'll see how it handles it. Yeah. Okay, that's a little too fast. Let's go like to 10. 10 might be good. Holy cow, but that works. That legitimately works. And I, and, and I think that's cool. Um... Oh my god, that's awesome, dude. That that's sick. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start teaching things, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. I actually had to make it a little different from the way I had it before, so I needed to make sure it had a gap in between each. Um. Whatchamacallit? 
this thingy, each one of these um, had to have a gap in between them so it would work properly. Oh no, that's not going to work. Having it on the bottom will not work. And I just realized why that wouldn't work. Okay. Because the dispensers are not the crafters. Damn it. So I have to go up. I have no choice to go up. Which is fine. So I can do something like this. 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 And this. We should all be outputting on red. All right. And I mean, I've already shown this. And then now, I actually have to make one of the dies again, which is the core die, because I accidentally dropped it into the void by accident. So redstone, stygian iron plate. And I'm gonna grab my yaw hammer out of my bag. Man. Alright, awesome. This should be automated at the. Well, it's gonna be automated in a second here. So you. You should be doing your thing. Oh, right. Again. With the magma blocks. The whole magma block thing is killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Magma block, magma block, magma block, magma block. There you go. That should do its job. Perfect. Dark oak, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. And then now... I have to make sure I wrap it on all four sides, right, because that's super important. Okay. Just like that. And then just kind of make sure that no items can escape and then same thing here um, item collectors will do their thing and this one's gonna be core dies this one's gonna be shards and so on and so forth so now if I put the, the tick timer to, to two we shouldn't have a problem in theory. So let's go ahead and craft, I don't know, uh, tier two. Yeah, a tier, let's go ahead and craft a tier three, because why not? Craft 10 tier threes. Go. And that shouldn't have no problems. And that should get automated. Pretty easily. And boom. We've got our 10. We've got our 10 upgrades. In our AE system. Right. So if I type in tier. Yep. We've got our 10. Perfect. Oh. Dude that's awesome. So now. I'm going to go ahead and teach it how to make all of the shards that we need. For example, like the diamond shard, the emerald shard, the quartz shard, all that stuff. All that stuff. So, you're going to learn how to make diamond. You already know how to make diamond blocks. So, I'm just going to pull a diamond out. Diamond, emeralds, emeralds, diamond emeralds. And nether quartz, nether quartz. These are all shards that we're gonna need for woot. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach them. 
and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I tell you what, I have been super busy with uh, teaching things and teaching things out of AutoCraft. So, I should be able to tell it I want. Hold on, let me look at the Woot guide. So, I'm very specific on what I want. And then we just need a book. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard to grab. And where did I put that book? Right here. Alright. So if I say I want the factory, um, no, tiers. Here we go. If I want a tier four, I'm gonna want seven tier four capstones. So capstones. So we're gonna want seven of these. No, sorry, seven of these. Uh, seven tier uh caps. So this. Okay, we're missing redstone. Did we not wait? Did we not teach redstone blocks to the system? I thought we did. Missing redstone. Oh, maybe we didn't. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make it craft it. It's not too big of a deal. I don't have to EMC it. I can just craft it. Because why not? Um, you. So my automation should, in theory, work. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Right, let's go grab a tier seven capstone, and let's let's see if this works. Boom. It's doing its job. And capstones. Yup. Seven tier seven capstones. How sick is that? That's freaking awesome, guys. Well, tell you what, I want to go ahead and basically get the rest of the stuff that we need because I want to build a woot wither farm today. So with that being said. Let me let me let me get back to work. Alrighty, guys, I tell you what, I have been super busy with uh, teaching things and teaching things out of AutoCraft. So I should be able to tell it I want. Hold on, let me look at the Woot guide. So I'm very specific on what I want, and then we just need a book. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard to grab. And where did I put that book? Right here. Alright. So if I say I want the factory, um, no, tiers. Here we go. If I want a tier four, I'm going to want seven tier four capstones so capstones so we're gonna want seven of these no sorry seven of these uh seven tier uh caps so this okay we're missing redstone did we not wait did we not teach redstone blocks to the system I thought we did. Missing redstone. Oh, maybe we didn't. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make it craft it. It's not too big of a deal. I don't have to EMC it. I can just craft it. Because why not? Um, you. So my automation should, in theory, work. I hope. <laughs> I hope. 
right, let's go grab a tier seven capstone and let's let's see if this works boom it's doing its job and capstones yup seven tier seven capstones how sick is that that's freaking awesome guys well tell you what i want to go ahead and basically get the rest of the stuff that we need because i want to build a woot with our farm today so with that being said let me let me let me get back to work all right guys this automation was a huge pain in the rear to set up i had to figure out how i'm gonna get enchanted books and Oh, it was awful. Um, you don't have a cable just straight ahead. That's fine. That will do. Awesome. So now we should have the enchanted books that we need to craft our um advanced power cells. Almost. I I do have to do a little bit of uh, manual work. Unfortunately, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Right, so if I grab myself an anvil, right, right, and then so I need okay, so if I want a premium power cell, I'm gonna need one efficiency three, one power one. And three power twos. All right, so let's go ahead and grab power. Wait, there we go. So we're gonna want. So that's one. That's gonna be two. Um, give me two. That's gonna be three. So. Uh, three power two books, and then I need two more. Okay, here's my here's my concern. If I put this in here, yep, it's gonna get EMC'd. Um, right. What I could do. Since I've got the storage now, I can go ahead and set these priorities to negative because we don't need it because we've got all the storage in the world. So now I need to make another one of those. So another power one or another power two. So power two and power two. Now, if I put this in here, this should, in theory, not go away. Perfect. And then we're going to need another power two. Another set of another power twos. Because we need power three. And then we need efficiency three. So we're gonna need a couple of efficiency buffs as well. So one, two, that's one, that's two, and that's three. And that should make us what we need for our, all right, there we go. Efficiency three, awesome. So power cell, go. Oh, right. I need to hold on. I might have to craft this by hand because the fact that it won't do it because of the enchantments, I think. I think that's how that works. So I need 12. 
Okay, so we need 16 power things. Wait, I want to do this over there because I want to watch our automation in progress. So if I go over here and I tell you I want 16 power upgrades. Can't do it because I'm missing coal. God dang it. I was just over there. Why you gotta do that to me, game? Alright. Blocks of coal. I thought I already ha I thought I already had that taught, but I guess not. Let's go over here. Throw you in the fire. Call it all Gucci. Alright, now we should be able to make power cores pretty easy. Power core times 16. Dude, that automation is so satisfying. The fact that I got it to work first try beats me, man. Beats me. So we're going to want 12 of these basic uh, 12 of these basic energy cells. I don't think they don't stack either. Oh, I made the perfect amount. And then that's going to be, I believe, the three enchanted power threes. And then the premium energy cell. Oh, what goes in the middle? Oh, uh, we need one more power thing. All right. That's so cool, dude. That's so cool. And efficiency three, power three, boom. Premium cell has been acquired. All right, I think that is a pretty, oh, I just, yeah, oops. Oh, I thought I put my draconic bell in there. I was about to flip. Cause that thing's hecka expensive. All right. So now, uh, where's our whoop guide? Cause we're gonna need that. I just want to sit here and watch this thing autocrass, man. I think that would be so cool. Um, we're gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need my whoop guide back. Um, do you not know how to make a guide? Okay, woot guide. Um, factory. Tears, here we go. Alright, we're gonna want the caps, so two tier ones. So let's get the caps. So two of you. It's gonna autocraft that. Nice. It's then gonna want for tier two. You're gonna want four. It's so cool. And I'm guessing for tier three, they're gonna want five. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. All right, so they're gonna want five tier three caps. All right, awesome.
Let's see, what else am I gonna need? Um, 14 bone casings. So let's grab that. Bone casings. Can I do like... I don't think JEI keep is a thing. In this. So 14 of those. 35 blaze casings. Uh, blaze casings. 35 of them. They want uh, 50 ender casings. Hold on. This book's all messed up. Fifty ender casing is that fifty? Oh no, sixty ender ender casings. Yep, sixty ender casings. And I'm gonna go with uh sex seventy just in case. And then I know for a fact, for the nether casings, it's 95. There go. And that should be all the casings we need. Alright. We've got all the casings. Now I just need the upgrade bases, which we need four of these. Alright, I can teach that. That's a very simple craft. Um, basic casing. So we're going to want a couple of things. Teach a couple of things. One, how to craft that, and I'm gonna learn how. I'm gonna need to learn how to make the heart cores. Okay. So we need Stygian iron block. So Stygian iron block, a Stygian plate. And I believe that was a magma block as well. Awesome. And that should get us what we need. So, Stygian iron. So, st I need that magma. And then Stygian Iron Plate and Black. We can be taught to our compressed EMC link. So Block. Uh, not Plates, we've already got those on Autocraft. So now if I go to go teach you in Processing Mode, Stygian Iron Block, Iron Plate, or Stygian Iron Plate, Magma Block, you're going to equal the Heart Core. And then we can go automate that. Right? So we can make the factory hearts and stuff on Autocraft. Right? Don't think that's a bad idea. And then I need to go ahead and take you out. And whitelist you on there. Now I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that we're going to need to do. Um, probably teach it how to make ender shards. That might be a thing that I need to teach. Which I think I can do, like, right now. 
it's gonna be yep, just an eye of ender. We're getting all the things. We're getting all the things automated. Alright. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so to get this going, I'm gonna need a couple of things. Uh wait. We were working on the factory heart, weren't we? Yeah. Let's get the upgrade bases as well. I don't remember if I taught it spider eyes or not. Oh, we've got it. Oh, we've got it. So spider eyes. So the factory heart, which this guy. I want to teach that though. The factory heart. That's a simple crafting recipe. Alright. We'll go ahead and teach that. And I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need besides the controller. Right? So if I go to factory, um, heart, you can go ahead and craft that. That should auto craft everything that I need. Perfect. Go ahead and throw that in there. Now, now there is one more thing I'm probably going to need to auto craft, and that's the factory controller block, which just needs a couple of things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and craft that, and we'll be right back. Unfortunately, guys, it is wrapping up points. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of FTV Sky Odyssey, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Ding dong to the notification bell. Also, follow me on all my social medias because sometimes YouTube is a derp and doesn't notify people when videos go live. So with that being said, it's been your boy Hunter X. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Until next time, guys.